Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm now going to answer question number five, part one, in two different ways. Um, this is about integration, and this particular part is integration by parts. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use a newly kind of uh, spread DI method, as well as a traditional method for those people who are, um, you know, used to that and they don't really want to change their ways. But I find the DI method to be very much user friendly and it makes life a bit easier and neater as well. Um, now, here we have the type of integration, um, it's integration by parts. We cannot use a uh, reverse of the chain rule here because like if you take e to the power of x as your main function, you know, you have to be multiplying by the differential what's inside the function and the differential of x is not something x squared. And so therefore, it's not something which you can use reversing of the chain rule for. But what we can do is we can do integration by parts because here we have, um, you know, two functions which are unrelated multiplied by each other. Now, one of them we have to take and differentiate it. The other one we have to integrate it. The one that we want to differentiate, if possible, is a one that breaks down until when you keep differentiating, you get to zero. Of course, that's going to be x squared. So if you did differentiate x squared, the next line will be 2x. If you differentiate 2x, the next line will be 2. If you differentiate 2, you're going to get 0. Okay, so when you get 0, of course, we're going to stop. And for integrating, we're going to take e to the power of x. Now, e to the power of x won't change. e to the power of x, e to the power of x, e to the power of x. We don't have to put the plus c here. Right, keep writing e to the power of x until you get to the 0, because e to the power of x stays as it is. And you write here plus, minus, plus, minus. And then you simply do the following, and it's very, very simple. You basically multiply these two together. So you're going to get x squared times e to the power of x. And then you've got minus, you put minus, these two multiply together. So 2x e to the power of x. And then plus, so put plus, these two multiply together, 2 e to the power of x. And we're done, apart from the plus c. Very simple, neat, easy, no hassle. Okay, I find this to be a really uh, simple way of doing it. This is using the DI method. Okay, the DI method. And you'll notice that this method is shown in the um, mark schemes now. So you'll see this in the mark scheme. Right? In the notes, if you look at the notes of the mark scheme, you'll see the examiner's being told to look out for this method being used, and it's perfectly 100% acceptable okay so there's no worries for that a lot of students i hear them you know see comments and you know in the in the channel and other places where they're debating whether it's going to be acceptable if we use this method will the examiners accept it they say the teachers some of their teachers say no use the uh, integration by parts traditional method this won't be accepted but that's 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 actually nonsense it will be accepted no worry whatsoever okay now for part i'm going to also as i said for those students who prefer to use the traditional method i'll do it both ways so i'll show you the traditional method as well okay in this case it's very similar actually one of them you're going to call um u and the other one you're going to call it dvdx okay so the one you call u is going to be differentiated okay so this one has to be differentiated the one you call dvdx has to be integrated let me make some space for that the one we call dvdx has to be integrated. So the one that you differentiate, if possible, is the one, as we mentioned before, that breaks down. So x squared is going to be differentiated. That gives you du dx, which is 2x. And dvdx is e to the power of x, which becomes v when you integrate it. So that stays as e to the power of x. And then you always, you multiply, so you say the integral of x squared with times e to the power of x with respect to x is equal to so you multiply these two together, so you have x squared times e to the power of x minus the integral of these two multiplied. So you have minus, I'll write 2 outside, and I'll put x, e to the power of x, dx. Now here again, we have a, an issue where we have to integrate in a second time because you have a product of two functions which are not related to each other in terms of one being the differential of the other. So we have to use parts again. So we, we do this a second time. So we're going to have... Um, this is going to equal x squared e to the power of x minus 2 times. And now we're going to integrate what's in here. 
Okay, so we're going to integrate what's in here. So you're going to have u is going to be x and dv dx is going to be e to the power of x. So you're going to have du dx is 1 and v is e to the power of x. So you do the same thing. You're going to have this times this. So you have e x times e to the power of x minus the integral of these two multiplied, which is e to the power of x with respect to x. So then finally you can write your answer. So you have x squared e to the power of x minus 2x e to the power of x minus, if you, if you integrate e to the power of x, it stays the same, e to the power of x plus c. Okay, so that's going to actually be 2 times that. Multiply that by 2 as well. 2 times this and 2 times that. Okay, so you end up with 2 times e to the power of x plus c. In the end you write, and you see that that's the same answer that we got there. Okay, but I think you can see that this was way easier. We did exactly the same things. We did exactly the same things, except this is just is just way easier. Just writing these down. So I personally find this way extremely easy and um, you know much better, a much better way of dealing with with this type of question than the other way. So the next part of the question is actually another type of integration by substitution. So what I'll do is I'll save that as a separate video so that we can have my integration um, playlist separated in substitution and you know parts and whatever so i'll save that in a separate video so if you'd like to see the other video part two of this you can go to the playlist that will appear in the top corner of the screen over here if you want to watch other questions dealing with integration in general you can watch the integration playlist and you can also watch over here um, the playlist dealing with integration by parts and in particular the di method as well so i'll have i'll put parts here I'll put the DI method up there as well, so I'll have all of those different playlists available for you. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.